move back to Muay Thai for our next bout, which is a lightweight fight made at 62 kilograms to be fought over five three-minute rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, pain and glory fight sports spectacular is taking it international once again. The first of our fighters comes to us by way of Paris, France. And he is the French national champion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Abdullah Mbah. I've got to say this, Tim. They actually met in the toilet pre-fight, and he said the same again. He said, you, no problem tonight. Yeah, he looks Ladies and gentlemen, tonight. can you please make some uh, noise in Birmingham for Liam our next fighter? fighter and I'm sure he's going to bring something to the He table. comes to you fighting out of Leeds, England. And he is the Waco Pro Champion of the World, Liam Yes, Tim Isley's right there. At the moment, he's the Muay Thai golden boy in this country. Liam Harrison, 19 years of age, 23-0. Last six, all internationals, all six KOs. He's fought in Thailand, he's fought in Japan, he's fought in Italy. Tim, he must be the man of the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Wake Up Pro Champion of the World, Liam Harrison! So here we go, and straight away Abdullah is on the deck. Yeah, he seemed to slip off a front kick there, and no, no harm done. So this the first of five three-minute rounds. Harrison stalking Mabai back to the ropes. Slight height advantage. He's very lean, isn't he, Abdullah? He is. He seems very wiry, um, very, very relaxed. Um, they're both just looking at each other at the moment, but um, I'm sure it's going to explode very soon. Yes, Liam used to stalking front push kick there. A nice solid jab. There's that boxing you talked about, Tim. Then the low point kick. Remember, Abdullah believes that there's no one at the weight in Europe that can live with him. We're going to find out tonight. Because if he beats Liam Harrison, he might have a point, Tim. That's right. If he beats Liam Harrison, then he definitely is uh, one of the best we got. Well, the best around. That's right. Both men focused. Stalking. You can feel the atmosphere here, waiting for that explosion. I keep telling Liam, you've got to be confident to wear pink shorts. <laughs> Read anything into that? I think Liam for a really nice high round kick, but I think he was just swept at the same time. Yes, and then his boxing skills coming in. Abdullah light on his feet there. This is just building up. Oh, nice low kick. Turn. Nice low kick. And there you go, the exchange of low kicks. Remember Liam Harrison defending a 20-plus unbeaten fight record, one draw in that. Last six wins by KO. And I don't think he'll want this one to go the difference, Tim. Good straight left, rocked Abdullah's head back. Yeah, you know, Liam shows a lot of um, a lot of skill, good range. For such a young fighter as well, very confident. Good body shot as well. Mixing it up here right in the first round, Liam Harrison. Nice left again. It's already causing a problem for Abdullah. Yeah, um, it's a good fight. They're, you know, they're really feeling each other. This is the first round. Um, I think we're in for a treat. Harrison stalking his man again. Abdullah happy to be against the ropes, though. Nice body shot there. Nice kick to the body from Abdullah. Now they're into the clinch. Possibly only the second time in this first round. Strength war here. Clinch tells you a lot about your opponent, his strengths, his weaknesses. Well, Tim, not fireworks, but strong, hurtful stuff. How do you see that first round? 
Um, I see it quite even, actually. Um, but, you know, some good techniques coming from both lads. They're both very relaxed. So it's a familiar pattern in this first round, Tim. Liam doing the stalking, Abdullah happy against the ropes. But in many ways, a traditional first round in Muay Thai. But as you said, good high point kick, and he just slipped, didn't he? He did slip, yeah. I thought um, Abdullah took his leg, but he didn't. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very, it's the, they're just feeling each other out at the moment. I, I think it's a, a good technical fight. You can, you can see it's going to actually explode. You can actually see it. So they're calling them. Tony Myers calling him into the centre of the ring for the second round. They've had a good look at each other in this first. As we said, not fireworks, but hard, hurtful technique. Both men still look second fresh, job. still look calm. But I think there's plenty more to come yet from this fight. Round, round two. So here we go, second of five, three minute rounds. Harrison in the pink shorts, Abdullah Mabai in the black from France, the French champion. And Liam Harrison makes no bones about it, he wants to knock this man out. This time it's Abdullah coming forward to set his stall out in the second round, into the clinch straight away. Spreading them now. Short little left hook over the top, but Abdullah takes him straight into the clinch. Thrown by Harrison there. That's the difference, isn't it, Tim, at the moment? That's right. Nice sharp jab there, you see by Liam. He's, he's looking sharp um, every time he does strike, but he's being very cautious. Yes, I, I think if we could say anything about this second round, and both men, it is that caution. Do you but think that's mutual a, respect now? I think they've got a lot of respect for each other. I mean, all the talk about knocking each other out, but they've got a lot of respect. respect. They're, they're um, both taking their time and just having a good look at each other. I mean, in real terms, this could be a legitimate European title fight, so they, they'll probably know this. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that left hand again, then the right leg from Harrison, snapping the head back of Abdullah. He's got to watch that, but he doesn't seem phased by it, to be honest. He felt that as well, though, Harrison stepping up the pace. It's a great skill to have in your armory, that boxing skill of Liam's, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can see the way he whips that jab straight through the middle. You know, nice and sharp. Like a lot of Thai fighters, don't expect the sharp boxing coming like that. And then the short elbow for the first time in this fight. Yeah. And again, it was from Harrison looking to use it. But I must say, Abdullah's remained focused. His expression never changed. He gives you nothing, does he? He's, he's kind of awkward as well. He's, he's relaxed. He, you know, you never know what he's thinking. Well, he's up on his toes nicely, but Liam's starting to put some heavy techniques in there. Yes, I, I agree with you there, Tim. It's shaping up now in this second round. And as we approach the latter parts, I think maybe Liam's done enough in this one to shade the second. Yeah, I agree. I think Liam's just nicking this round so far. Not much power in that right kick there from... And it's an awkward left he throws that hook, isn't it? It's wide and looping. Very wide, but you can see again his boxing skill isn't as good as Liam's. And definitely the bigger punch will be for Liam. Well, again, cautious start to the round. It got better as it went on. Tim, I'm going to go with Liam on that one to make it possibly 1-0 to zero with two down. Do you agree? Yeah, I would agree with you. Welcome back representing Fighters Magazine, Karen Taylor. Five feet, four inches tall. This young lady is 32, 26, 32, and looking good every inch of it. Tony Myers, Karen buddy, Tyler, agreement there. This Fighters Magazine, ladies and gents. Tim, she's an angel, I'm not biased, she's an angel. <laughs> Goddess, Goddess. Fighters Magazine, they do pick them, you know. I'm sitting on the fence with this one.
as you said, Abdullah, having looked at him over two rounds, your thoughts with watching the replay here? You know, I thought he was going to be a, a more explosive that round. He was coming up on his toes, but again, I mean, you know, Liam with a nice sharp jab there just broke his rhythm, and, and maybe that was the reason he couldn't open up, and maybe that was why he wasn't explosive. Do you think he's also conscious of the fact that if he does open Seconds up... Seconds away. Harrison is liable to take, take the advantage, and he's so sharp with his boxing. Do you think he um, makes a fighter cautious? Well, you know, he's been caught with a couple of really nice jabs, nice stiff jabs through the middle. And uh, it's interesting to see the corner there taking their time to come out of the ring. Well, let's see what he's um, going to bring to the table now. So the third of five. We've got Harrison one ahead, one drawn. And as Tim Isley says, let's see what Abdullah brings now. They've had a good, good look at each other. But I'm certain whatever Abdullah tries, I think this round Harrison will start to turn it up as we expect. As, as I said that, Tim, hard kick. Nice heavy round kick. And to the head as well. Yep. There you go, you see the little moments when you can see there's still no love lost there. And again, that short left hook from Harrison. One of his great strengths is timing, isn't it? Yeah. And he's... I think Abdullah's trying to open up a little bit now. He's starting to just unleash with some shots. A bit cautious coming in there. And the timing is right, isn't it? He needs to. Round three, that's when you've got he, to start he deciding needs to do it. it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Tony Myers watching, he'll get them out of this clinch soon. Oh, they naturally separate. Again, the counter, the jab counter, and there's the right hand to the stomach. Last time I saw Liam Harrison in Manchester, it was the right hand to the stomach, left hook to the head that knocked his opponent cold. Yeah, well, this is, he's got good variation, and he switches up and down the body. That was there nice you go, he's man. That rocked up Goulet and it got the crowd going as well. Sharp, sharp punching. Then the low kick has gained, made him stagger. He's just beginning to open up now, Tim. Yeah, again, that was a lovely combination there. He just needs to just feed him a little bit more and I think that he could put his guy in trouble. Yes, rocked Abdullah's head there. And for the first time, Abdullah blowing a little bit. Well, they were very good shots. They, uh, he would have felt them right down to his feet. And again, not the conviction in his own kicks there. Harrison turning up the heat now. But we see those kicks in reply from Abdullah. They're not carrying much weight there, Tim. Yeah, he, he seems to be lacking a little bit of power with his, um, with his shots. Liam definitely is the heavier firing of shots. He's firing good heavy oh. punches, good heavy kicks. As you said, that good solid left to the body. And that's that var variety we talk about as well. And yeah. I think he's realised now that he has got a handful, and this man's powerful. Yeah, definitely. Well, he would have known that from the first fight. Um, you know, I'm surprised he actually was very, very confident coming into the fight, and uh, he did exchange a few words with Liam. And there man. you go, the hook nice and the right round kick. Good knee there, though, from... Yep, starting to use the knees very well. Yes, this third round, a good, good round. But again, I'm going to go with Harrison, those sharp combinations. Yeah, definitely the, the combinations, one in the round, some good heavy shots there, which rocked um, Abdullah. Mixed march here, ma martial arts here, and again, Liam forcing the issue, the combination of punches, the variety. I think that's the difference between the two men. Yeah, that was a nice little combination there. Yes, nod of respect there, but I think Liam Harrison's going to turn up the screw again this round. He does like the stoppages, he does go for them as well. He's one of those that isn't happy to sit there and take the points win. But this round started with three stiff jabs from Abdullah. Yeah, this looks as if this is around they're going to start to open up a little bit. Um, but I think that would favour Liam. I do as well because he's so quick to see the openings and got such good punch combinations. Oh, walking into a left hook there. He's got to be careful, Abdullah, when he walks forward like that, Tim. Yeah, he tends to come very wide with his punches, which exposes himself through the middle. I think it was a low blow there. 
Yes, well, it, I, actually, I, I'm not sure whether it was. I think he was just saying, you know, it was after they touched and they sh after Tony Myers said you should break. Tony Myers spinning them again. There's not much work going on in that clinch. Good left and the right low kick. That's his trademark combination, Tim. Nice combination, yeah. He's, he's just starting to turn around a bit. It's interesting to see them not doing too much work in the clinch, but on the outside, they're definitely the better techniques are coming. Oh, good, good left hand. Moved his man there. And he follows it up with another left hand and then one to the midsection. Abdullah's got to be careful. Liam does carry the one-punch knockout. We've seen it many times. Traps the leg, takes the other leg. Nice turn there, though, by Abdullah. Well, he's still in it, but um, you know, he definitely needs to raise his game. Otherwise, he's um, it's only going one way. And again, in the clinch. As you said, they do some knee work, but neither man seems too bothered to stay in the clinch at all, do they? They yeah. quite. I think they're quite ready for Tony Myers to split them. Good timing, takes the supporting leg. Yeah, beautiful technique there. Oh, the uppercut with the right hand. Crowd getting behind Liam now. Yeah, Liam's showing a very good variety of shots, as we said in the beginning. He's, he's, you know, he's got all the armour, he's got it all, so that's what makes him a good fighter. And although he likes the stoppage, he's patient. He'll wait for it and he'll work for it. He won't rush for it, he knows when it comes. Yeah, he's, he's a good all-round fighter. I mean, at 19, I mean, he's he's got a lot in front of him. So, you know, I really like to see him move on to, to bigger things, and I think we will definitely see it. Yes, Abdullah trying to use those knees, but Liam smothering the work. Nice uppercut there from Abdullah. Good right hand there from Liam. And the straight left. But towards the end of the round, Abdullah tr did try to up his work rate, but I still feel he's lost that round. He did lose the round, um, and uh, he, he really needs a knockout now, I think. I think he's going to need a knockout. Presenting Pro Grip UK, can you please give a round of applause for Carmela Bowie? is 5 feet 5 inches tall, 34, 26, 34. Boom. Yeah, so there again, Tim, as we saw, the left leg, the left hand. Yeah, you know, nice powerful techniques there, good left hook, good left round kick, and look, he switched to the body and then back in the clinch. Good variety of shots. Your thoughts overall on Abdullah so far? Well, it surprised me, really, because I thought he was going to be more hungry than that, and I thought he would come out a little bit more, sort of, you know, wanting it. He, he seems, you know, very cautious, and, and I think, as it's going on, I think he's looking a little demoralised. Yes, in that corner, you're right, Tim. We were looking at the corner above our commentary position, and he looked very, very demoralised. Liam again, perfect, grabs the leg, takes the supporting leg, timing once again. Well, this is it. I think this is all, um, you know, what's actually made him being a little bit more cautious and a little bit more sort of like lethargic. But let's see what he can bring to the That's game. right, he needs a lot because this is the fifth and final round. He's got three minutes, but at the moment he's been dominated by Liam Harrison. Yeah, definitely. I I'd like to see Liam go for the stoppage. And as you said that, the elbow, a perfect way to get the stoppage, a cut or a knockout. And Liam went straight for it for the first time, well, only the second time in this fight. As you said, it's been strange, the range has been fought at tonight. Yeah, there's not much worse than a good shot again, nice and strong. Yes, Abdullah, I think you're right, he's frustrated. He's got no gum shield, <laughs> just yeah. realised. Again, short right, but luckily Abdullah stepped into that one nicely, otherwise he would have taken that on the side of the head. But knowing Harrison, Tim, he'll still be looking for the finish. He does like the big finish, and he does like the stoppage win. Yeah, no doubt. Um, he won't just sit back knowing he's won the, the last four rounds. I just think, you know, he will look for the stoppage. 
Oh, the elbow almost just missed there. Good timing again. Oh, that kick landed solidly. Bites on his gum shield, Abdullah. He felt that one. And here's Harrison turning up the heat. He will be looking for that stoppage now. Takes the feet away. Perfect yeah. timing again, just like the last round. Yeah. Lovely. That's just what everybody likes to see. Yes, yeah, stepping in now. He'll get those hands going as well. There you go, the left hook. And it's a torrid round already for Abdullah. Yeah, definitely looking a little demoralised now. And the right hand hurt him there. The trademark, trademark right hand from Liam Harrison. Yeah, Liam's really showing some strength now. He's coming in with some lovely techniques. And he's enjoying himself out there. That's right, he's got this fight in the back, barring a disaster. There's the elbow as well. And no, the other elbow. Big, big last round so far for Harrison. Yeah, this is just the icing on the cake for him. And if he forces a stoppage or a knockout, that's a bonus. That's right. He'll look for it because it really there's not much left coming from Abdullah at the moment. Oh, back elbow, beautiful. That was very, very nice. Listen to the crowd now, Tim. They love that beautiful timing. But Abdullah's very durable. He's taking these shots. I don't know what he's doing standing up still because that was a very big shot. But it slowed him. If you notice how yeah. slow he is now, he doesn't want to come forward. You're right. You've got to take your hat off to him to take a shot like that. Would have dropped a lot of men. But I don't think he's got much left in the tank now, and I really feel he'll like to hear this last bell. Yeah, I think that, you know he he's not you know he's not going to do enough to win this fight. Again, that's a lovely local. Yes, and there you go. He knows. He knows. Yeah. Yeah. The golden boy, there he goes. Yes, I think I agree with you. The best you can say to Abdullah, he was always there, he was durable, took a good shot. But I think from round three onwards, he just got more and more de demoralised by the variety of Harrison's shots. Turned his man nicely. Always looking for the finish, Liam Harrison. Brings the knee up beautifully to the midsection, Tim. Nice technique, yeah. Skips out of way afterwards. Yeah, he's a, he's a great fighter. He's got, you know, all the techniques nice and open. He's going to do the spin round, the elbow now, which is coming round. Absolutely fantastic. You've got that to take your hat lovely. off to Abdullah there, haven't you, for well, taking that? you know, to take a shot like that, you know, it says something, you know. But we're in no doubt, are we? And the crowd are in no doubt. And I don't think even Abdullah's in no doubt. Well, if it goes Abdullah's way, then, you know, I'm, well, I don't know what to say. We have seen stranger things, but I don't think we will tonight. No, I don't think so. Hi, I'm Lisa Nash. We're live at the NEC in Birmingham for this year's SENI 2005. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be interviewed we have Liam received Harris. our judges' scores, and they are as follows. Judge A scores the bout 45 to 50. Judge B scores the bout 45 to 50. Judge C scores the bout 46 to 50, all in favour of your winner. Fighting out of the blue corner, he is the Wake Up Pro Champion of the World, Liam Harrison! No, you don't mean it like that. So it's 62 kilos, it's five three minute rounds over full Mai Tai rules. And again, that deathly silence of the crowd, I mean, it's probably what, 2,000 in here plus. And, um, you know, it sounds like there's only me and you sat here. <laughs> and the time to use it. But yeah, it's a do well, OK? I don't know if it was a ding-dang-do or a do-well-do. -well -do. OK, it's going to uh, represent Thailand, as you said. And he looks, uh, he's, he's quite stocky, isn't he, for a Thai? Mm. He's uh, big legs. But Liam looks good in good shape, too. And uh, we're looking at 62 kilograms. That's just short of 10 stone. That's between nine and three quarters and ten stone no money. We're looking at the uh, super lightweight division. This uh, goes from 61.5 up to 63.5. So these guys are right in the middle of that weight division. So it's the usual uh, Thai slow start, traditional Thai slow start, where both fighters are going to weight each other up ooh, and measure each other okay, with things like what you just saw there from Duwa. And Liam just seems to go for the catch there. But now opens up with a left kick. Liam in the uh, bad company traditional pink shorts with white and his Hitman logo. He's even got that tattooed on, tattooed on the bike, the, uh, the, like the Batman symbol, which is uh, synonymous for Liam. Yes. And this 
young gentleman, I think he's likely, must only be about 19 now. Really. I've watched him fight since he was about 15, 16, and he's had a very impressive career, and he's fought some very talented fighters, and he's fought the French, he's fought Italian, he's fought Japanese, Thai, and he's in again now here with uh, another Thai. And you can, I said, there's 2,000 people in here. It's an honor to you can't hear many people, it's because, you know why? And you think you've got 2,000 people on the feet, and it's because they love to watch ties come over here. They're absolutely kind of respectfully silent and they want to, they don't want to miss anything. Yes. And they feel if they're shouting and cheering, <laughs> they might blink and miss something. Exactly, they just seem uh, absolutely riveted to it. That's the word, riveted. That's what everybody's riveted to the sea, it's mad. And, you know, if I sat here and looked now, you, just, you think you'd you swear you was in a church. <laughs> <laughs> The sermon here, and rightfully so, is now with these two gentlemen here. And they're going to assert themselves up there, I'm sure, as the rings go on. William has a nice, powerful little left hook there. Well, he drew a smile out of um, Duo just a few minutes ago, so uh, good sign there, hopefully, of a connection. Nice, nice lean back from Liam. Liam's already got a mark there on the body from that left kick. You can see the toe print, it just shows how hard these ties kick. But I know how hard it is. Well, you wouldn't have a title of Hitman if you couldn't hit hard, would you? You know, Liam the Hitman Harrison, you know, he can hit. And I've seen knock people out with a single punch, like a short left hook, a kick, a knee, an elbow. He's done it with everything. Watched him in there uh, on Richard Smith's his trainer show in Leeds uh, earlier this year, and he just did like a tongue pull elbow, gestured the left elbow, and knocked his opponent out with it. Amazing. Well, nobody's going to get any uh, you know, score there because they're going to give that first round very much even because there wasn't much action at all, was there? That was actually. Round two. By Paul Hennessy with Shaw Sport International. We've brought together a fantastic bill here for us all tonight. It's been a pleasure here to be allowed to be sat privileged ringside here. Okay, commentating with uh, Christopher French here, which has been absolutely a great pleasure. First time I've worked with you, Chris, and I found it really easy. You've been really good, great to work with, and I hope we can do some more in the future. I hope so, Sandy. Thanks for that. Really enjoyed it, and uh, very uh, happy to rely on your expertise. Well, obviously, you know, with it's you know 27 years in this, and I'm only 29. I know you're only 30, <laughs> so you know, as he says jokingly, um, you know, it's. It's, I think these guys have made it very much easier for us tonight, Chris, haven't they? Yeah. You know, the, as, as, again, a court, so, coming out, you know, the, the, let the, the hands and legs do the yeah, talk. let the action speak. They've made it very easy for us, and showing how professional these guys are, and wow, I felt the wind off that one. I mean, terrific there. I mean, Liam took a quite full-blooded low blow blow and just shook his head, gets on with it. And you see in other sports, I mean, I'm a big football fan, but it, I don't like to see players rising around on the floor, trying to get their opponent in uh, trouble with the referee. Right. This is the real thing in here in the ring, real men. That's right, I'm going, going for an Emmy Award. I'm saying all of a sudden, everybody who knows Sunday on the Bolton Thai Boxing Club in the world, Thai Boxing, I know I don't like football, but I'm used to their own. You know, it's a, it's a, it's the biggest sport in the world, you know, and every, the athletes themselves, I understand that, but you made a point, you know, I talk about, you know, there's more injuries, it's one of the worst injured sports in the world, you know, so anybody who plays uh, that F word football, you know, it's a good job to get paid a lot of money because it is a short career for some of them, isn't it? You know, and I can understand why they do get that, because, you know, they've got to rely on that money for the rest of their life, so it's understandable. But anyway, you know, speaking of, you know, the faults, you know, we're talking about these two guys using the shin here, and they're using it to, uh, you know, best of their advantage, and powerful players coming in here.
glorious fashion. See these boxing dinner shows, which is just a bunch of men and you know all getting drunk and you know and, and, and then you know comedian in the middle and, and you know some white dancing going on. It really is. You know, and I say that respectfully to boxing because obviously it's not all about that either. But it's you know it's not an all men's sport. There's a lot of testosterone in there. And these two guys, these are athletes at the, you know, the top of the game. So I've decided a bit of feminism is not behind this. But it's um, like grunting sound from yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so, so much, much determination and aggression that how much he's putting into it. Absolutely. So much aggression there going in. You can hear that, you know, you want to see hits, which is what you do when you're on the bikes and the pads. You know, that's the noise you make. You know, ish, ish. You know, we do it in the gym every time Oxy does it. He also does it in the ring with fights too. There's so much, like you said, determination and you know, empowering that technique that he throws, every technique that he throws, should I say. But again, the strength there is incredible. Yeah, being a strong jab and tight on the first elbow, clear elbow in the match. And this is where the elbows are thrown up on this close way, so don't blink. But it's doing well now, really trying to get in close, isn't it? Yes, and that's why you know, this is again where a lot of fights can be won and lost in the clean skill. There's, there's no set area, there's one better than the other. You know, you can win on the elbow kick. Good low kick there from Duo. Once again, he's trying to see, yeah, we can see pin Liam Harrison on the way, so Liam turns him. Yeah. Nice turn with two the elbow, I think, where that was as well. Good look, solid. A nice stepping elbow there from the left. Oh, the, the ties and uh, some of his teammates here. Almost in the ring there, cheering their man on and really applauding those knees. Yeah, they're full line for camera men. Camera ladies and the full tight team there. Uh, we also got your daughter here, really taking photographs. Is that right? Indeed, hope she gets some good shots. You have to take them fast. Yeah. Well, this is really opening up now. Good to have two right elbows there from the end. And to give Dua his credit, he's come back extremely well in this round. He has. Really trying to take the fight to him. But it really has hotted up this fight, hasn't it? Both fighters put everything into each fight. Look at Liam's face. Both fighters very successful with the, with the elbow now. Really flying in. Oh, 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 oh,
Frustration in that round as well. Yes. I mean, the tie, you know, we're talking frustration all the time here. What let's say something the tie for the right game plan. He's obviously listening to it. The master, the master, master Pimmer, I can just see there. Man. He's just near the ring gate and uh, he's telling him he must be listening really, really well. And he actually has come right back in that fourth round. I'm taking a big eight count. Doing very, very well. And you know, he definitely won that. So up to now, on, on paper, it's not a leader. Everything's on this fifth round. Well, after the knockdown, as you say, this should be uh, even Stevens now. And, and suddenly the bad company corner really had to become animated. Absolutely. I think, you know, this has been a great fight to watch. You know, the tie's done what he had to do after coming off the canvas in the second round with an absolutely awesome left up from Liam, which gave it a clear 10-8 round. The tie managed to forge his way back slightly in the, um, the, fourth, in the third round. And again in the fourth, and now we're looking at the fifth and final, which I personally think everything is on this last round. Uh, it's uh, beautifully poised, and uh, it's a really excellent finish to what's been a terrific night of Muay Thai here. So can Liam, Liam Harrison pull this off for himself, obviously, for his gym, and not to mention his country, and level this up, all on this fifth and final round. A nice nod, a smile, and a hug from both sides. And this is it, the big round.
Disappointed with that performance at all. Truly really awesome. <laughs> that face tells a thousand words. What an awesome fight. And just collecting the uh, scorecards now. Not sure about Liam's reaction there as he's walking away. Did he feel he'd maybe just done enough or? Did he feel in that last round he's uh, resigned so maybe that's gone the ties way? Yeah, I think, I think officially on the cards, I would give it just to the tie's edge that um, because he just seemed to get strong as the rounds went on, which is the tie way. You know, Liam kept rising to the challenge, and, you know, and he did everything he could do, Liam. I really felt as he could. But I think what happened is he had the rhythm taken out of him, and that was because of the tie. Obviously. Right. He finally his, and he made it hard work for Liam. Well, let's see what the judges thought of that. Well, we have a decision as in favour of the record. takes it on points. And do well, okay? They certainly seem to represent the sport very well. They do indeed. And uh, yeah, I've got some great champions in there. We've seen Jordan Watson, Andy Howson, Liam Harrison. The uh, wonderful threesome there that will do amazing things in Thai boxing. Okay, for the sport. Absolutely amazing fighters. Love watching all the bad company guys. And uh, they've had such an amazing year in 2005. And uh, let's hope, you know, wish them good luck for this year next 2006. Uh, just coming out for this first round, and uh, Duwau, it's his first appearance in the UK. Uh, again, as we've been consistent with most of these stats tonight, Guy's had around about 120 fights, 85 victories, so perhaps percentage-wise not as high as uh, some of his teammates, but nonetheless uh, 
a tough pressure. opponent. Absolutely. Age 27, which is quite all for a tie. On, and you say all for a tie, I mean, we've got people over here. I was at some fights at Pallon Athens in Manchester last night, and a girl got in the ring, a woman got in the ring at 42 having the first fight. Um, an opponent was 31. So, you know, age is not a restriction in this game. People fight you know, from very young to an older age. But by points of Thailand, 27, this guy probably retiring now in Thailand. But he could fight around the world for another, you know, another 10 years. So there's a lot left in him. Don't get me wrong when I say he's, you know, old for a time. Don't mean it like that. So 62 kilos, it's five three-minute rounds over full Mai Tai rules. And again, that deathly silence of the crowd. I mean, there's probably, what, 2,000 in here plus. And, um, you know, it sounds like there's only me and you sat here. <laughs> and the time is it. Yeah, so do well, okay. I don't know if it's a ding dang do or a do well do. Okay, it's going to uh, represent Thailand, as you said, and he looks um, he's, he's quite stocky, isn't he, for a tie? Mm. This is uh, big legs. But Liam looks good in good shape, too. And uh, we're looking at 62 kilograms, that's just short of 10 stone. That's between nine and three quarters and 10 stone, no money. We're looking at the uh, super lightweight division. This uh, goes from 61.5 up to 63.5. So these guys are right in the middle of that weight division. So it's the usual uh, Thai slow start, traditional Thai slow start, where both fighters are going to weigh each other up ooh, and measure each other okay, with things like what you've just saw from Duwa. And Liam just seemed to go for the catch there. But now opens up with a left kick. And Liam in the uh, bad company traditional pink shorts with white and his hitman. Logo, he's even got that tattooed on, tattooed on the back, the, uh, the, like the Batman symbol, which is uh, synonymous for Liam. And this young gentleman, I think his wife, he must only be about 19 now, Liam. I've watched him fight since he was about 15, 16, and he's had a very impressive career, and he's fought some very talented fighters, and he's fought the French, he's fought Italian, he's fought Japanese, Thai, and he's in again now here with uh, another Thai. And you can, I said, there's 2,000 people in here. It's an honor yes. You can't hear many people, it's because, you know why? And you'd think you'd be 2,000 people on the feet, and it's because they love to watch Thais come over here. They're absolutely kind sort of respectfully silent, and they, want to, they don't want to miss anything. And they feel if they're shouting and cheering, <laughs> they might blink and miss something. Exactly, they just seem uh, absolutely riveted to it. That's the word, riveted. That's what everybody's riveted to the seat, it's mad. And, you know, if I sat here and looked now, you'd, just, you'd think you'd, you'd swear you was in a church. <laughs> <laughs> The sermon here, and rightfully so, is now with these two gentlemen here. And they're going to assert themselves, OK, I'm sure, as the rounds go on. Liam's a nice, powerful little left hook there. Well, he drew a smile out of um, Duo just a few minutes ago, so uh, good sign there, hopefully, of a connection. Nice, nice lean back from Liam. Liam's already got a mark there on the body from that left kick. You can see the toe prints. It just shows how hard this ties kick. But I know how hard it is. Well, you wouldn't have a title of Hitman if you couldn't hit hard, could you? You know, Liam the Hitman Harrison, you know, he can hit. And I've seen knock people out with a single punch, like a short left hook, a kick, a knee, an elbow. He's done it with everything. I watched him in uh, on Richard Smith's his trainer show in Leeds uh, earlier this year, and he just did like a tongue pull elbow, gestured the left elbow, and knocked his opponent out with it. Amazing. <laughs> Well, no one's going to get any uh, you know, score there because they're going to give that first round very much even because there wasn't much action at all, was there? Sorry? That was actually. Great, Kevin! Round two. By uh, Paul Hennessy with Shaw Sport International. Brought together a fantastic bill here for us all tonight. It's been a pleasure here to be allowed to be sat privileged ringside here. Okay, commentating with uh, Christopher Brench here, which has been absolutely a great pleasure. First time I've worked with you, Chris, and I found it really easy. You've been really good, great to work with, and I hope we can do some more in the future. I hope so, Sandy. Thanks for that. Really enjoyed it, and uh, very uh, happy to rely on your expertise. <laughs> well, obviously, you know, with it's you know 27 years in this, and I'm only 29. I know you're only 30, so you know. <laughs> As he says jokingly, um, you know, it's, it's, I think these guys have made it very much easier for us tonight, Chris. Yeah. They? You know, the, as, as again, I caught uh, coming out, you know, the, the, let the, the hands and legs do the yeah, Let the action speak. They made it very easy for us, and showing how professional these guys are. And wow, I felt the wind off that one. I mean, terrific there. I mean, Liam took a quite full-blooded low, low blow and just shook his head, gets on with it. And you see in other sports, I mean, I'm a big football fan, but it, I don't like to see players rising around on the floor, trying to get their opponent in uh, trouble with the referee. That's this right. is the real thing in here in the ring, real men. 
That's right, I'm going, I'm going for an Emmy Award. So, you know, all of a sudden, everybody who knows Sunday on the Bolton Thai Boxing Club in the world, Thai Boxing, I know I don't like football. But I'm each to their own. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's the biggest sport in the world, you know, and the athletes themselves, I understand that, but you made a point. You know, I'll talk about, you know, there's more injuries, it's like one of the worst injured sports in the world, you know, so anybody who plays uh, that F word football, you know, it's a good job to get paid a lot of money because it is a short career for some of them, isn't it? You know, and I can understand why they do get that because, they, you know, they've got to rely on that money for the rest of their life, so it's understandable. But anyway, you know, speaking of, you know, the faults, you know, we're talking about these two guys using a shin here and they're using it to, uh, you know, best of their advantage. Some powerful kids coming in here. Sound from Liam. 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 So, so much, much determination and aggression there, how much he's putting into it. Absolutely, so much aggression there going in. You, you can actually hear that, you know, you, you bump as he hits, which is what you do when you're on the pads and the pads. You know, that's the noise you make. You know, we do it in the gym every time Oxy does it. He actually does it in the ring. It's so much, like you said, determination. Empowering that technique that he throws, every technique he throws, shall I say. But again, the strength there is incredible. Really a strong jab and tight one. First elbow clear out on the match. And this is where the elbows are thrown up on this close way, so don't blink. But it's doing well now, really trying to get him close, isn't it? Yes, and that's what you know. This is again where a lot of fights can be won and lost in the clean screen. There's no set area, there's one better than the other. You don't need to go down, you can get on the elbow kick. Good low kick there from Duo.
tremendous run as really begins to come to boiling point this contest. Oh, and then just shut his eye the crowd against the crowd. I mean, that might have went both ways there, didn't it? I mean, I'll probably give that, that, that an even run and pass it to the tie. No knee, you know, you've got to, you can't conflict in the corner. You can't put together that's what the high cut with three did. Nice shot off the front by Liam. Well, straight into the action, and uh, Liam Harrison manages to turn his man on the ropes. Frustration in that round as well. Yes. I mean, the tie, you know, we're talking frustration all the time here. What let's say something the tie for the right game plan. He's obviously listening to it, and Master, uh, Pat, Master Pinwell, I can just see there, man. He's just near the ring gate, and uh, he's telling him he must be listening really, really well. And he actually has come right back in that fourth round. I'm taking a big eight count. Very, very well. And uh, he definitely won that. So, up to now, on, on paper, it's all evens. Everything's on this fifth round. Well, after the knockdown, as you say, this should be uh, even Stevens now. And, and suddenly the bad company corner really had to become animated. Absolutely. I think, you know, this has been a great fight to watch. You know, the tie's done what he had to do after coming off the canvas in the second round with an absolutely awesome left up from Liam, which gave it a clear 10-8 round. The tie managed to forge his way back slightly in the, um, the, fourth, in the third round. And again in the fourth, and now we're looking at the fifth and final, which I personally think everything is on this last round. Uh, it's uh, beautifully poised, and uh, it's a really excellent finish to what's been a terrific night of Muay Thai here. So can Liam, Liam Harrison pull this off for himself, obviously for his gym, and not to mention his country, and level this up? All on this fifth and final round. A nice nod, a smile, and a hug from both fighters. And this is it, the big round. 
Brown will score a big, big score there for the Titans. He's scoring there in the fourth round, especially in Thailand, because in Thailand, the fourth round is all about betting. And uh, there's so much money away from here in the stands, and I can't imagine I'm not using this building on the day. It's the national sport, so it's like the equivalent of the same money in boxing here. In, in the Formula B, you know, it's like Formula 1 because you know, they could have been a third world country Thailand, but in Bangkok, the capital is like England, that's where the money is. And the money that's actually done is incredible. So, I certainly wouldn't like to get my money on the outcome of this. on the corner, so, and it went to the last round, the referee's looking at that, you can see, I mean, obviously, you know, the capillaries at the service is very hot, the blood will fly in this round, you know, it's not the best, you know, he's going to bleed out, and the rest of the other side, it's just this time, in the last round, but, you know, the blood is pumping fast, Dan Jones, that gets referee, having a good long look at that, and we're really proud of some sense, in fact, he knows that, he, I think he probably feels he might be even slightly behind, so he's put the evidence as fast as we can, you know, this is what the tie's doing too. You know, Paul, this is part of the top quality, top draw ties on the head today. You know, and you know, the other side's a giveaway experience. This one perhaps a bit close in all that's quite a lot of right hand there for you. But you know, this has been a great fight, as has been all the fights. And a pleasure to be sat here inside. Chief on the time, it's not the time. It's the This is still going to be desperately close for the judges. Can Lynn just pull out a couple more tricks just in this last sort of 30 seconds or so? He's on the left elbow. And the right hand is going to send back the lovely combination by Lynn. Let's go the crowd back into this one. Back into the clinch. We're really going through the ropes there. The judges nearly getting the hand pump. And he can see that. should not be disappointed with that performance at all. Truly awesome. <laughs> that face tells a thousand words. What an awesome fight. And just collecting the uh, scorecards now. Not sure about Liam's reaction there as he's walking away. Did he feel he'd maybe just done enough or... Did he feel in that last round he's uh, resigned so maybe that's gone the tie's way? Yeah, I think, I think officially on the cards, I would give it just to the tie's edge that, um, because he just seemed to get strong as the rounds went on, which is the tie way. You know, Liam kept rising to the challenge, and, you know, and he did everything he could do, Liam. I really felt as he could. But I think what happened is he had the rhythm taken out of him, and that was because the tie was right. finally his, and he made it hard work for Liam. Well, let's see what the judges thought of that. Well, we have a decision as in favour of the Victor takes it on points.
Great fight. This is going to be fantastic. Uh, really looking forward to this one. Now, with both these young men, is it right that Liam's come up a weight, Matthew's come down to make this match? Yeah, I think Liam's uh, taken a step up in weight, um, but I think he's, he's uh, weighed in at the, the same weight as Matthew. Um, obviously, Liam, a very powerful uh, puncher, it uh, remains to be seen whether he can uh, carry that punching power up through the weights. Now, the thing with Liam, just 18 years of age, there's a lot riding on this young man. It, isn't there that people are talking about him as possibly a future world champion he's fought three ties and, and a Japanese fight in his most recent fights he's beaten them all I think he's undoubtedly is the UK's number one yeah and Matthew a great champion but he tends to blow hot and cold a bit certainly yeah uh, I mean you know can't say uh, as, as too too many good things about Liam he's a very very exciting prospect for this country yes known as the hitman from the Bad Company gym in Leeds. Great gym there. And, and the thing is as well, at 18, what a prospect. Because as you said, he's already known for his punching power. And he probably hasn't even fully matured yet. No, no. Um, you know, awesome. Is, we'll, we'll see what's to come from him. A, a, a lot more, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, he's getting the experience fighting international as well. To fight over in Tokyo in front of the huge crowds over there. Um, and to win. And to win as well, yeah, by, by a knockout. Um, you know, that's all, all good for him. Now, having fought across both disciplines, we've had some wonderful kickboxing super fights and, and Muay Thai coming up now. What would you say the, the biggest differences were for you? Um, certainly with, with, with Muay Thai, um, you know, you've got to know how to grapple. Um, I've, I've trained out in Thailand there and, uh, you know, I've seen fights out in the Lumpini Stadium there where they just grapple from the first round and the whole fight consists of knees. Uh, you know, a really powerful weapon that uh, is often underestimated. Yes, Liam, known as a boxer, but that's not to take away the other ties because he's got them all, hasn't he? And in his last fights, I noticed, especially with the ties, that he kept the boxing back, didn't show it to them until either the, the fourth or fifth round, and then unleashed it. And again, he started here with the low kicks rather than the boxing skills we know he's famous for. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, uh, he played the, the, the ties at, the, at their own game for the first few rounds in that fight, and, and like you say, opened up the boxing. And beautifully there, caught the leg, took the standing leg, a typical Thai manoeuvre, and he timed its perfection. Yeah, very nice. Now, if we're being honest, despite the weight advantage, because obviously Matthew's come down for this, so he's obviously at a stronger weight, we really feel that he's got to be on the top of his game tonight, hasn't he? He took a strong left hand there as well. Yeah, I mean, Matthew's, you know, don't take anything away from me, he's a very good, very strong fighter, but he, he needs to be really, really out of his skin tonight, you know. Well, the problem he's had already, he's had his leg caught three times, he's gone down from a, a leg kick, and then two left hands straight in the face. He's got to be, he's got to be a bit sharper than that. Yes, yeah. Harrison stalking his man there, incredible potential at just 18 years of age. But I must say, with both these young men, when you meet them outside the ring, you couldn't meet two nicer people. They're real ambassadors for the sport. Absolutely. Um, you know, often the case with fighters are some of the nicest people you meet. Nice push kick there from Matthews. First success in this first round because sometimes with the Muay Thai, as you know, oh, he took a, a right hit shin kick there as well. They normally tend to work their way in, but Liam hasn't done that in this round. He hasn't, now, but, uh, you know, he hasn't gone uh, all guns blazing. I think there's uh, a lot more to come from him in this fight. Again, we normally have slow starts, but that was a very fast start. He's, he's just got a slight cut under the eye. I don't know how he got that, maybe from that one kick, because really, for me, that was all Harrison's round. It was certainly it looked all one way. It'd be interesting to see, uh, see how that cut came about. see Matthew stretching there he comes in with the kick but again this, he keeps getting that kick caught doesn't he and just how dangerous is that for a fighter what's he got to do to correct that um, well I mean he's, he's got to get his footwork and move back from it and obviously get his shin up and, and, and block the kick really um, I think I just saw there where, where Liam got caught with that uh, cut it looked like it was the bottom of, um, of Matthew's elbow um, just as he was bringing his guard up looked like he, he sort of knocked him so we have it one round to Liam Harrison Matthew caught three times the, the, the support leg taken away the first time and then the left hand the second and third Matthew's got to be really careful he has yeah yeah um Liam seems to have his number at the moment and we haven't really seen the the, the Harrison boxing ability yet either no no you know that's um Matthew will be aware of that as well and uh you know he'll he'll, he'll be certainly uh trying to be aware and, and thinking about what he can do to nullify that 
Christmas. Good short hand there, though, from Matthew himself. But when, when he's on form, he's a very dangerous fighter, Matthew Johnson. As I said, if I have had a criticism of him in the past, is that for me, he does tend to blow hot and cold. When he's on form, he's great to watch, and then, but then he can have an off day. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, let's like, take nothing away from Matthew. He's uh, is one of the country's best fighters as well. But again, the leg taken, the support leg taken, and really square across the shoulders, that takes it out of the system as well. Yeah, nice elbow there as well from Liam. And the round kick now, a masterclass here from Liam, but again, he, he took a, a short left there, and another one. He, yeah, he's, he's having some success there with, with, with that punch, Matthew. And it's from the southpaw stance, obviously. Yeah. But those will take their toll, won't they, Dave, when you keep hitting the canvas like that, and the support leg kicked as well. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it psychologically to find yourself on the floor all the time, it, it, you know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't do you any, any favour psychologically. Yes, yeah, so he's taken a couple of shots, Harrison, but he's dictating the pace here. Took one in the groin there, not intentional. Both these lads very sporting, and he's not made any fuss about that at all. Got straight back on with it. And there's the punching power as well. Caught the leg, but just didn't quite capitalise, and this time possibly a warning about the, the, the kick to the groin there. So, halfway through the second round of the game, it's, it's basically all house, and what does Matthew have to do to, to really get back into this day? Because at the moment, he's taking it up and down the body. Yeah, I'm, I personally think he's, he's fought a bit better this round than he did the first round. Uh, the key may well be that straight, uh, straight left. Yeah, I agree with you. He has come into it more. I, I still feel it's it's Liam Harrison's round. Yeah, certainly. But this is the great thing with, with the Muay Thai there. They can start slower and they do build. Yeah, um, you know, over, over in Thailand there, they, they generally just judge, you know, the last three sort of rounds and, and the first two are, are basically about feeling your opponent out. A um, bit different in this country, really. Um, we, we tend to go a little bit more right from the start. He got clubbed there trying that left hand to, across the top of the head because Liam's reactions are so sharp and this has been the problem for Matthew. Yeah. The way he grabs that leg and takes the support. Certainly, yeah. He's, um, he's done that, you know, five or six times now. If you were in the corner, would you tell Matthew what to bring the kicks higher, bring them up, vary them slightly? Yeah, he's, he's maybe le leaving them there a bit too long. Um, certainly wouldn't go for the same kick, probably, uh, you know, a bit lower, lower down the leg. Um, just vary them, yeah. So three of five, we've got Liam Harrison two ahead. Matthew's success has been with the, the, the left hand there from that southpaw stance. And again, Liam just picking his shots. We haven't really seen him. Oh, the elbow oh, there, clean, David, clean nice. elbow. Very nice indeed, that. And he's been looking for that to be fair, Liam. And if we're looking, as you said, you fought across kickboxing in Muay Thai, that's probably the most devastating in the arsenal alongside the knee, that elbow. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just the way they cut up your face, really, um, it, it, as you say, devastating. And if I can pick you up on a point, he's been looking for that, hasn't he? And that's two he's landed clean yeah. straight off again. Yeah. Going with confidence now, Liam. If you needed any, anyway. With the elbow strike, is it range and timing to get that in? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's generally a close range sort of thing. You need to work your way in, and then and then uh, you can bring the elbows down. And again, clinch work in Muay Thai, an important part. But this round, if Matthew had any success, Liam's immediately negated that now, hasn't he? He's asserted his authority again. He has, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I thought for a minute, Matthew, uh, you know, the round before may, may start getting some success, but, yeah, um, Liam's, Liam's putting right back. And, of course, with the, the Muay Thai scoring the judges, those elbow, elbows will score very heavily on the judges' scorecard. Yeah, elbows, knees, they're, they're the, uh, the top-scoring ones. Brings the leg fast up there as well. Ma Matthew's face looking marked, but he's took those elbows well, to be fair to him. Yeah, he, you know, he's a very, very, very good fighter and very durable as well, so... Um, there's a lot of fighters when they've got it from those sort of uh, shots. And again, that left hand causing him problems when the leg's caught. He's looking to his corner. He's got to be so wary. That, as you said, he should bury those kicks up because Liam knows and he, do, he goes straight back to it. Yeah, he's, he's catching that one every time now. Um, you know, Matthew's got to look for a different, different kick there, uh, whether he uses the other leg or, or moves downstairs a bit, uh, you know, to the bottom of the thigh. So the end of the third, and really that, that was a big round for him, wasn't it? Yeah, that, um, you know, Liam came through that round and really stamped his authority on the fight. 
good attempted elbow by Matthew, but he was the one that actually took the elbow back. He, yeah. he initiated those strikes, but was the one that suffered. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're always at your most vulnerable when you, when you throw your own shots there, and, and Liam certainly made him pay. So, bad company corner there. Richard and Lisa in the corners. Wealth of experience. They won't really be telling him much except to carry on the same way, will they? Yeah, much of the same there, I think. Um, you know, they're an experienced corner and they'll be happy with the way he's fighting at the moment. Yes, fourth of five. Liam Harrison. I've got every round at the moment. I said the second was closer, but I still got him all three rounds. I'd agree with you, Malcolm, yeah. So Matthew trying to get the elbow in there, and it, it was a good strike by Matthew Johnson. He's still he's still in there. You can't underestimate him. He's a good good fighter, and this time tries to catch Liam's knee and he, leg, and he's doing the right thing. He's got to force the pace after those first three rounds. He has, yeah. And yeah, again, he caught him a couple of times with that uh, straight left. Um, being a southpaw there, it's uh, may, maybe something uh, slightly new for Liam to come up against. But what is so exciting about this fight is neither man's worried about letting those elbows go, which makes it so interesting because. A cut can change things instantly. It doesn't matter how many rounds you're ahead if that cut opens up. Absolutely, yeah. Um, obviously, Liam's already got a small graze there. We'll, we'll see how that develops as well. And both men keen to throw the elbows. I saw there, but he took a big, big left hand from Harrison. But again, I think this is the right tactics from Matthew Johnson, getting in there and trying to mix it with him because one elbow that cuts your man can change it. Although he's the man that's blinking now and on the receiving end. I honestly feel he's got no other choice. Well, fair play to him. He's, he's come out, he's put uh, Liam under some pressure. You know, he's here to fight and he's, uh, he's going to go for it. Yes, and both men look, they know the damage they can do. They can know it, be an, it can be an instant stoppage for them. And certainly Matthew needs that. But in this round, I've noticed Liam opening up a bit more with the boxing. Yeah, he's starting to uh, use those left hooks there and uh, coming down through the middle as well. Yes, if there's one thing we haven't seen much of, we saw Matthew trying either. They haven't used the knees as much in this fight. No, they haven't. Um, Prefer to sort of elbow um, when they're getting closer rather than clinching a knee. Uh, best round, I feel, of the fight so far for both men. Very even this round in, in many ways. And a testament to Matthew Johnson's desire here. Yes, yeah, certainly. It, it's definitely opened up uh, that round and a uh, good round for Matthew that. So after three that we felt were one-way traffic, Matthew Johnson really came on into his own in that fourth round and showed what a good fighter he is. But I think he must have known that going in with Liam. You're going to have to be on top of your game. Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, I'm sure he's trained very hard for this. Um, as you would, he's, he's up against um, you know, one of the country's best fighters. But, uh, as we said, it, for me, this was possibly his best round and there was exchanges there. That left hook, he took that so well. Yeah, um, he, he, you know, full marks to him, durability there, and um, interesting to see whether um, Liam's knockout power does, does move up the weights with him. Well, this is uh, what you said at the beginning of the fight, wasn't it? The one thing is, with Matthew coming down and Liam coming up, does that power stay with him? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, I, I think it will. I think, you know, um, Matthew can obviously take a good shot as well. So the fifth and final round... And it's been a very good technical fight, as well as all, all the power that's been in there. Very good technique. Yeah. And again, Liam having to draw that kick back very quickly. Corner telling Matthew to go on, but he, he took one on the way in there, Dave. That was a lovely little short, uh, short shot left foot from Liam uh, as Matthew's coming in. And again, then the low kicks. And if there's any doubt in the in judge's mind, Liam is, is, is turning on the heat again a bit here. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, uh, he's using his boxing more and more now, and he's, um, you know, devastating with that. And if, if the difference between them is, is Matthew's got some good shots, but Liam gets those combinations off and invariably ends it with the low kick as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, he looks a complete package at the moment. Yes, that's a good turn for him, and a lot expected of this young man. He handles the pressure well. I asked him in one of his previous fights if he feels he's got what it takes to be a world champion, and he said there's so many good ties out there. He said, I just want to be, be nice to be just judged as one of the best in the world. Very modest, but I think also a true reflection there are so many good ties out there. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Um, especially at his weight, you know, it's a very, very competitive weight over there in Thailand. 
but it also illustrates the fact that he's got his head screwed on well, he knows what's ahead of him. And I think he'll set his sights on being judged the best in Europe and then getting as much experience, as we said before, in Thailand and Japan as he can. Yeah, well, as the sport develops over here, you know, you, you're getting these lads coming through that have been training from a very young age and, and uh, you know, can only be, be good for us. Oh, beautiful spinning punch there. Landed clean and he gave a little smile. I mean, I think that's as much as respect for Matthew as well because he's taken so much in this fight. Yeah, it looked that way. Just a uh, sort of nod and a smile and a well done. And then the chopping elbow. He said, hey, I think that was a great little fight. It, I think it's been clearly won by Liam Harrison, but it's, it, it says volumes for Matthew Johnson's durability and desire. Well, he always looked dangerous to it, and, uh, and like you say, against a, a great fighter like Liam, that's uh, an achievement in itself. Yes, he took a lot of punishment, Matthew Johnson, in that fight. Beautiful technique there. Very nice, yeah. Which is at least in the background. Calm as calm can be. They've seen it all before, and he really is being well schooled. He is, yeah. I mean, they've, they've got a, a good stable there at the moment, uh, the Bad Company Gym. There's a, a few good fighters coming from there. Um, they've got Richard Cadden, um, um, Jordan Watson, another one. There's, there's a few up and coming fighters from that gym. Um, yes, it was never in any doubt the decision, but a great little domestic fight there. The only problem for is on domestic level, you wonder where the next fights are coming, really. Certainly, yeah. Um, I mean, he, he's obviously going to have to be going abroad again. Uh, nice to see him uh, fighting out in Japan again, you know, we'll get the experience out there. He's got a real talent, maturing all the time.